26 to 38 In the 6th month the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David the virgin's name was Mary and he came to her and said greetings favored one the lord is with you but she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be the angel said to her do not be afraid mary for you have found favor with god and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him jesus he will be great and will be called the son of the most high and the lord god will give to him the throne of his ancestor david he will reign over the house of jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end mary said to the angel how can this be since i am a virgin the angel said to her the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore the child to be born will be holy he will be called son of god and now your relative elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with god then mary said here am i the servant of the lord let it be with me according to your word then the angel departed from her the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord jesus christ, christ. Dear brothers and sisters wherever you are from any part of the world attending this service a very happy feast of the immaculate conception of our beloved mother today the joy is double as we all know as we have come to know during the eucharistic adoration that we are celebrating 1000 days of this service as well so it is a double joy dear friends this is a very familiar passage for all of us angel gabriel is announcing the birth of jesus he is coming to mary to tell her greetings favored one the lord is with you this is the beginning of the conversation chapter 1 was 28 greetings favored one the lord is with you when we reflect on the life of our beloved mother she was someone who was always found to be worthy in the eyes of god the sight of god that's why he could hear these words from above the lord is with you and also the son of god was coming into her life if you have met people who have gone to the holy land or if you yourself have gone when we talk to the people they would tell you that one of the most beautiful places they go is the church of the annunciation where it is inscribed it is written here the word was made flesh so that is one of the most beautiful scenes that people holds in their heart god came to this earth and this is the beginning of that event we say together hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. thank you jesus hallelujah. praise you jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. and especially today as the holy catholic church is celebrating the feast of the immaculate conception it has got greater relevance because 
God was coming into the life of someone who was so pure who was so pure who was immaculate from the birth onwards or from the time of conception onwards so what does it teach us it all it gives us all a lesson only if we are leading a pure a holy life we also would be able to listen to these words from above the lord is with you when we go through the bible quite often quite a lot times we will come across this promise this word i am with you i will not leave you alone god is with you dear brothers and sisters we all are praying for the same we all want to have god accompany us we all want to want jesus to be with us if it should happen surely we must be leading a very holy a pure life we read in the first letter to the thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7 and 8 verse 7 and 8 there we read for god did not call us to impurity but in holiness and was said for therefore whoever rejects this rejects not human authority but god who also gives his holy spirit to you when we want to experience the power of the holy spirit we should be holy at first it is a prerequisite it is a precondition to experience the power of the holy spirit we call the spirit holy so if we want to have the presence of the spirit in our life at first we must be holy so dear brothers and sisters today in a special way we should seek the intercession of our beloved mother to remain holy pure in our life we have seen many people who are struggling with this this issue of holiness we all want to lead a holy life it is our deep desire but sometimes we are unable and today the church reminds us to seek the intercession of our mother she will never leave us alone she will intercede for us the last month october we were praying a rosary and we have been seeking the intercession of our mother and we have listened quite a lot to the talks on the importance of rosary praying rosary dear friends if we are seeking the inter- intercession of our beloved mother if we are people who pray rosary surely every day in our life we will come to know how powerful the presence the intercession of our of our mother is she will never leave us alone because she is our mother these days i have been listening to a uh, someone who said god is never a person who uses something and throws it away god doesn't have that tendency of use and throw if he has chosen mother mary to be if he has chosen mary to be his mother it is forever so when we are approaching mother mary surely god will be answering her prayers whatever uh, be it maybe you need a uh, healing maybe you have been suffering from a very severe disease as we said you have been running to the hospitals doctors many have told you that it is not going to be cured you come to mary surely you will experience miracle maybe you are a person who needs deliverance as i said you are struggling with impurities unholiness in your life people who are watching unholy videos people who are having such talks in your family if you are struggling with impurities come to mary she will help you dear brothers and sisters it is age long tradition of the holy catholic church it is based on experiences miracles people have experienced the power of our beloved mother 
so she will help us we say together hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah so the most powerful the almighty was coming into the life of mary and here we read the reply from the angel the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you men when mary was asking how it will happen the angel replied there is nothing impossible with god the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you how mary could experience the power of the holy spirit because she was holy and when we seek her in the session when we follow her footprints what should what should happen we should be prepared to face difficulties suffering challenges in our life as well dear friends when we seek her intercession when we pray to the lord it doesn't mean that everything is over if i am going through some struggles if i am going through some sufferings it will be there no longer it doesn't mean that but she will be strengthening us together with the lord she will tell jesus to strengthen us because she is someone who has gone through all these kinds of experiences from the crib to the cross and when we are reflecting on the birth of jesus we are waiting for the coming of our lord we are going through the advent season and some people have already begun to celebrate christmas we are waiting for the coming of the lord it is a joyful event maybe the most joyful event in our life the coming of jesus but think of mary think of bethlehem it was full of struggles maybe struggles which she had never expected when we think of bethlehem maybe we have joyful memories but it was also a place where there was nothing it was also a place of utter poverty mary joseph and jesus they came across a place where there was nothing where people were not receiving them where people turned their faces against them so when we remember mary when we are seeking her in the session we also should be prepared in our life to say yes to everything that god plans for us that god has set in his store for us we say together hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 so when the angel said the power of the most high will overshadow you there is nothing impossible with god as we all know mary said yes behold the handmaid of the lord let it be done according to your word this yes was not just for a moment this yes was for her lifetime or even after the life on the earth that's why she was taken bodily into heaven dear brothers and sisters when we come before the lord we need to say this kind of yes to the lord we need to express our willingness before the lord to accept all the crosses he is giving to each one of us sometimes we pray that the crosses may be taken off from our life our diseases or our our family issues the misunderstanding we face in our life whatever it be most often we pray that all those crosses be taken off today we have been praying the rosary the luminous mysteries and the fourth mystery it speaks about the transfiguration of jesus on mount tabor the lord was in utmost glory peter and others they were witnessing it and towards the end peter said we will continue here we will continue to to be here in this place because it is such a wonderful scene it is such a beautiful experience to be in this glory but towards the end of that passage dear brothers and sisters we would read the lord was bringing 
them down the mountain and Jesus was speaking about his passion, death and the cross. What does it mean? The Lord wants to tell us, if you need glory in your life, it comes only through the cross. When we study the gospel according to John, the gist of the entire gospel, the content of the entire gospel centers around a single message. The glory comes to us only through the cross. So when we learn from Mary, it is very important to learn to embrace crosses in our life. So we should be prepared to face challenges, difficulties, sufferings. We say together, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Today, we read a word from the gospel according to John chapter 14, verse 18, where the Lord is telling us, I will not leave you often. And the beginning of that chapter, chapter 14, verse 1, do not let your hearts be troubled. The Lord tells us, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. And verse 18, he tells, I will not leave you often. Why we should not be troubled? Why we should not let our hearts be troubled? It is because of the promise that Jesus gives us. He is with us. He is Emmanuel. He will not leave us often. Dear brothers and sisters, when God is, when Jesus is giving us this promise, it gets fulfilled also through Mary. Today, Mother Mary wants to tell us, my child, I will not leave you often because she is our mother. Think of your mother. When you take part in this Eucharistic celebration, when you, when you listen to the word of God, think of your own mother. Maybe someone who has passed away from this world or someone who is with you. How greatly you are related, how closely you are related to your mother. If you are related to your mother in this way on this earth, then Mother Mary, the mother of God wants to tell you, I will not leave you often. I will not leave you alone. We say together, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I was talking to a priest who was very close to his mother. Especially we priests are very close to our mother because we are not married. Maybe when we have some struggles or uh, when we come across some challenges, we may share it with our mother. This priest was very close to his mother, especially when she lost uh, her husband, his father. She was going through a lot of struggles and maybe she was once hospitalized in great deep depression. And this priest was taking care of her so well. Very often uh, he was going to visit his mother. And on a day off, uh, he showed up at home to visit his mother. But it was only to discover that she had taken her own life. She had committed suicide. He was completely broken because he was so close to her. And after a few weeks of funeral, he was going through the plans he had made for that year. And there was the annual retreat for priests. However, he went for the retreat. But he could not concentrate during the retreat because the thoughts were centered around his mother. Always he was thinking of her. And tears were rolling down his eyes. But he was there for the retreat. Dear brothers and sisters, then it happened an icon of Mary and child Jesus. It was being carried into the retreat hall. He 
looked at the imagery of Mother Mary. It was an overwhelming experience for him. Maybe he felt he had not, he had never seen it before. He had never seen that imagery before. It was such an experience. He was almost staring at that imagery. He went out and he was broken in his heart. It was a moment he realized that there is still a mother waiting for him. Though he has lost his mother, there is still a mother waiting for him. Some priests came out and he was narrating all his experiences to them and how he came to know that Mother Mary is still his mother. Such a wonderful experience. Maybe you have lost your mother. It is a great pain when we lose our mother. When, when, when we lose our mother, it is a terrible, excruciating pain for all of us. But dear brothers and sisters, it is also an occasion to come closer to your heavenly mother. She wants to tell you that I will not leave you often. We say together, Hallelujah. 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 Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So today the church reminds all of us to be closer and closer to this heavenly mother. Fulton Jashin tells us, incarnation never gets over. It is happening every day in our life. It is happening every day through our deeds and words through our thoughts, deeds, and words. Jesus wants to take birth on this earth through each one of us. So today, as we reflect on the life of our beloved mother, let us pray to her that we may always lead a pure and holy life. That there may be a space in our heart for the Lord, for the Holy Lord to be born. And also, when we say yes to the Lord, let us let that yes be forever, not just for a moment. We should be prepared, we should be willing to embrace all the crosses of our life. Mary was there with Jesus from the crib to the cross. In all his joyful moments are also sorrowful moments. So we should not become people who leave Jesus in sorrowful moments. We should always be with him. God bless us. Amen.